is perk award P P R K. Do it. Is it? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker. I just X on it. You son of a bitch. <laughs> so it's like 2.30 in the morning and this is what me and mom are doing. Paint. 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 She's playing the spelling class. We so Paul, we can't even pay attention. She's playing the spelling game type scrabble thing. It's called word battle. Get it straight. Get it correct. What she said. And look at our mess. Aren't we ghetto? We country ghetto. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be the title of this video. Country ghetto. Telio. I O. <laughs> Tell it. it should be a Tell Spanish it. word. Telio. Telio. Spanish word. Telio. <laughs> Gosh. It's not a word. But she's playing this game and it's freaking hilarious. So I decided to record it. She's oh, like paint. cussing out the other players and. Gladys, Rose, and Jack Spade are playing with me. <laughs> I don't know none of them. They might be watching this video. Oh, yeah. And Gladys, she's beating my ass. <laughs> Is R I T E. What about right? What about how right? Is H R I T a word? How right? I don't know. Is it? Sounds like it. How right? Yeah, baby. Let me know. What was that? If you want my body and you think it's sexy, come on, baby, let me know. Oh, I outdo Honey Boo Boo's mama. <laughs> Hey guys, we're home. First order of business, change these light bulbs. See that one? I don't even know if you can see. One right there, and one 
one right there that's out. And that one's a pink one. I don't know if you can tell. But that's the only light I have right now. So we're changing that light bulbs. So um, this happened. Um, I'll show you my room right now. I don't even know if you can see that. But that right there is glass from a light bulb. The screw part of the light bulb is still up there. We went to turn on, it wouldn't unscrew. We went to turn on the light and it exploded. And now I can't turn on my light at all anymore. So we gotta find somebody to get the screw part of the light bulb out. This happened last time too, only the bulb didn't completely break. I went to unscrew it. The screw part of the light bulb didn't come out, but the light bulb did. So, little to say, we're not putting um, a light bulb in that little socket right anymore. I don't even know if you can see it. It's really stuck in there, ain't it? Oh, it's that little piece right there. All right. All right, guys, mission accomplished. We didn't put one in that light right there, though. The one that blew. Just because it blew before. But this, all that, is glass that I gotta clean up. So, this is gonna be a fun night. realized that I did not put up the footage from yesterday today's vlog I did not put up a vlog today and I just realized that so I'm sorry um, I didn't do that I just kind of forgot about it I guess anyways I am going to bed now um, actually I'm not I'm gonna clean up these last couple things off my floor and stuff and other than that it looks pretty good uh, this all this mess right here, I'm going to clean tomorrow because I'm actually really tired and I'm just going to relax the rest of the night, but I just wanted to vlog. I don't even know if you can see how wavy my hair is. It really looks good right now. Look. And it always looks good right before I go to bed, which is how it usually is. So I just wanted to vlog and not only show that, but just say goodnight. One thing I want to kind of talk about. Today makes two years since my great grandma Dorseline passed away and it's really kind of hard. Um, it's kind of a hard day. I've tried to just kind of ignore it all day because I don't really like to think about it. But um, I was actually, when I got the phone call about her passing away, I was at the Grand Old Opry. I had went down for the summer to spend it with my dad and he had taken me to the Grand Old Opry. And my phone, believe it or not, fell. It fell in between the like auditorium seats at the Grand Old Opry. And um, yeah, so my phone fell down there and I couldn't get it. So I'm like, okay, you know, I'll just wait it out. and. Um, get it after the the concert because you know there's not really any use to use my phone at the time um, at the Grand Ole Opry because I was taking pictures on a camera but um, so I left it down there until we got ready to leave 
it didn't fall until about halfway through because at the Grand Ole Opry if you've never been they have like five different artists there and they each play like an hour to a half hour set and then there's like a short intermission in between them they talk a little bit and then you have another artist to perform and um so there was a band there I forget who it was but they sang this song people get ready and it's talking about you know people get ready they played that song and it was pretty much about get ready to die um because Jesus is coming back is pretty much what the song said um, not exact words but it was along those lines people get ready it was what it's called I think it's a, they played that song and it really kind of touched me but anyways um, afterwards we afterwards I got my phone and we were walking out and I was checking like my messages and stuff and I realized that people had been trying to call me for quite a while and so I stood outside the Grand Ole Opry and called them back and wanted to know what was going on because my grandma had been in the hospital and I kind of figured you know we kind of expected her to go because she had heart failure but yeah we kind of expected her to I mean it was something we had thought about before um, they were trying to do heart surgery and um, she didn't she refused heart surgery so we kind of expected it so I called him back anyways back to my story I called him back and um, my cousin told me that she had passed and I stood outside of the Grand Ole Opry with all these people pouring out who had just watched a show and bawled literally just lost it because my grandma despite me not seeing her the as much as I should have the couple years before she died I spent a lot of time of my childhood with her we lived across the road from her um, for several years and then we moved on up the road but it was still only like a mile away from her I used to take all my baby dolls up there and line them out on her couch and have them all spread out throughout her house and play daycare with them and school teacher and she taught me like she took brought me up in church I went to church with her every Sunday when we lived close to her I'd stay the night at her house get up the next morning she'd always wake me up at 8 o'clock um, get me dressed feed me breakfast and then we'd go to church about 930 which our church started at 10 I slept with her every time I stayed with her I would slept in the same bed with her she'd always um, every night before we went to bed when I stayed with her she'd make me say the um, Lord's Prayer um, ever since I was little she taught me that when I was as soon as I could talk pretty much and I just really miss her every Christmas Thanksgiving and Easter we went to her house every year not we never missed a single year from the time I was little and um because my grandparents passed away when I was real little and so we didn't have them to go to so we always went to my great grandparents um, which my great granddaddy um, passed away in 2002 and my grandparents passed away in 2000 so it was kind of our only um, you know grandparent that we had because um, I don't really talk to my dad's family that all that much um, I do now but growing up I didn't really um, but yeah every year we went to her house she had a big Thanksgiving she had a big dinner Christmas she had a big dinner with all our family all our extended family all the cousins all my great aunts all just everybody and Easter was the same we when I was little um, we actually had like an Easter egg hunt and um, you know dinner and my my great aunt would um, all, all get us Easter baskets so we all got like two presents and like for Christmas she would all get us presents for all her like 26 great great grandkids there was like eight grandkids and then she has five kids and she'd get us all presents and it's just it's weird not going to her house now because it's kind of like a tradition but the past two years have been really hard because I'm used to seeing my family every you know November, December, April 
and you know I don't see them now I don't even really talk to any of them and it's really hard and it really sucks but that's the way life is and that's just something I'm gonna have to get used to but um I'm gonna insert a couple pictures here of my grandma and let you see her and um yeah Anyways, guys, I'm going to bed. Um, I'm actually not going to bed. I'm going to edit this video and the one that was supposed to go up today that didn't, and upload them both tomorrow. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and um, I'll see you tomorrow. Good night, guys.